I'm the happiest when I direct. I have my job and I love running this company. I'm very honored to do that. But the only place I'm really, really happy and carefree and absolutely focused is when I'm in rehearsal. And so um, that's what I live for. They say that 85% of directing is casting. And I'm very lucky here because I'm very involved with the casting. And so for this production of Dead Man Walking, we were able to assemble this incredible cast of singer actors. A lot of times in opera, important, famous opera singers come to sing and they're less interested in the acting aspect. That's not the case with the people that we have here. And with the style of writing that Terence McNally and Jake Hagee have, they're very theatrical, they're very focused on the story. And so all the singers in this are very committed to the idea of theater, not just opera, but what Jake Hagee calls music theater. And so somebody like Mike Mays, who I'm thrilled to work with anytime I have a chance to, completely embodies the character of Joseph de Rocher. And all I need to do when I work with him is ask him a few questions and lead him and myself into finding the crux of the scene. I really view it as having a couple of ideas and then stepping out of his way because he's such a phenomenal artist. Same thing goes for Jamie Barton who's making her role debut as Sister Helen. The discovery with Jamie and the work that we've done together was more in depth than the work I've done with Michael because Michael has done it so many times before and we've done it together so we just kind of repeated and reminded ourselves of what we've done. Mm -hmm. With Jamie it was more intense process. She's very interested in understanding the character and in embodying it. She's a very intelligent singer and performer so it's been a pleasure working with her. It really is all about fitting them into the production because we have a production that is very specific with 19 different scenes so if you hire people that are extremely capable from a vocal and artistic and acting standpoint, all you need to do is trust them and let them be. And that's what we're doing in this production. Now working with the chorus is very unique for me in the show because I've worked so much with the Atlanta Opera Chorus and I love working with them. They're so much into embodying the characters that we're asking them to embody. And this is a very dark story. And the prisoners are a huge part of a story that takes place in the prison. And each one of those prisoners have their own story, their own background of why they ended up there. And yet they're all held in this claustrophobic confinement. And while they're not happy, they each have a story that can be touching and uh, moving on its own. The other element in Dead Men Walking is that there's the realistic storyline that is going on, but there's a lot of undercurrents that are psychological, that are getting into the mind of Sister Helen and into the mind of Joseph de Rocher. And often in this production, we are using the chorus as a theatrical device into the psychology and the psyche of the characters. And so that's why the lighting is so expressive and sometimes there are projections that are more abstract that allow us to get into the minds of those characters. <laughs>